Counseling Micro Skills Summarizing with Sandra Collins and Gina Co. Gina, what would you like to talk about today? Questioning. Hi, Sandra. Um, today I have in mind, uh, in terms of my day to day work schedule, and I want to talk about making some changes moving forward. Hmm. Tell me a little bit more about why you feel like you need to make those kind of changes. Probing. Well, right now, my days are, you know, I see my amazing clients Monday to Friday. I, I start seeing clients at nine in the morning, sometimes 8.30 in the morning. And then I could go until 8 p.m. Some days, right, with some breaks and picking up children, my children and spending some time with them. But moving forward, I'm going to take on at least one provisional psychologist in around July, you know, in a, a few months here. And I just feel like I need to make some changes so I can have room to do that and also room to be with my children and room for self-care and room to see my clients. So just thinking mm. of how to juggle all that. Hmm. So what are you thinking? Like what, what are the possibilities that you're entertaining? questioning good question I think you know now it's I mean I'm I'm working four to five evenings a week so I'm I'm thinking reducing it to two to three evenings um so that, you know the rest of those evenings I can spend time with my children and my, my spouse having dinner and you know it's getting warm out um also during the day I want to I need to fit in some time with my provisional right supervisee I'm just wondering how that would look and change is hard sometimes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you have a pattern that you're kind of used to, but it sounds like the it sounds like the change is not just about fitting in the provisional, but it's also about creating more space for some of these other things like spending time with your family and taking care of yourself. And so the things that are more not more meaningful, but bring you a different type of meaning in your life. Reflecting meaning. Experience near response. Abs exactly, absolutely. Because I feel that if I continue to keep these hours, I mean, you know, if, with my body anyway, sitting for so many hours a day is hard, right? So I do need to be cognizant of taking body breaks, longer body breaks, spending, again, spending time with my family so that I am even more you know, there for my, my clients, right? So it's all going to be plus, 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 I think. Mm. Um, so what is it that has been the draw for you into spending so much time with clients in the evening? Like what's the, what's the piece that um, pulls you there? Questioning. First of all, I love all my clients and I try to be accommodating and flexible and most of them have daytime work, right? So I do, I keep opening up my evenings and I keep doing so. And right now, Sandra, I'm about three to four to five weeks out, booked out for my evening times, right? So I think um, my colleagues uh, and I have talked about this too. And they say, Gina, if you, you know, if you're um, open and honest with, with your, your, your shift in schedule, clients will come see you during the day because they want to see you. They'll make time. Mm -hmm. but that those conversations have been interesting mm -hmm. maybe there's a way in which the clients can accommodate as well um, to the things that are important to you in terms of your life not that that would be express, explicitly expressed but that you're not holding all of the responsibility for making this happen for them reflecting meaning experience near response mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think they would want to. I think they would. They would be um, more than okay, yeah, to to change, you know, some of their schedules and make it like a maybe a self care day for them or self care morning or afternoon to come to therapy, and actually it might even benefit them to right to build that into their schedules. Mm -hmm. So when you think about being home in the evening, for you know, say you're three or four nights now at work and you take that down to one or two or something. So what, um, what kind of, what kind of thoughts go through your mind as you picture yourself at home in the evening? 
questioning. Interestingly, yesterday, Sandra, um, my daughter had her final vo volleyball tournament and finished early. So I didn't have any clients booked last night for a long time. Uh, it's been a long time since. So I went to the grocery store and I made dinner and we sat down and we ate together and we had nice chats about the volleyball seasons. My, both my children love volleyball and we talked about our summer holiday coming up, you know, so yeah, so it, it, it happened yesterday and I thought, wow, this is so nice. They want to talk to mom, their mom. <laughs> they want to spend time with me. Hmm. It's a little bit of a surprise to you, almost like you'd sort of forgotten um, what that experience is like to have that extra time with them. Reflecting meaning. Experience near response. Yeah, yeah. And I also love to cook, actually. I miss, I do miss cooking. Right now, my spouse, he does most of the dinner uh, preparations, which, and he loves to cook too, but sometimes there is some guilt around, oh, I'm not, but not because I don't want to, it's it, the scheduling has been hard. But yesterday, it was so fun to <laughs> be in the kitchen and making dinner. When I look back on this little bit of the conversation, what stands out for me is that um, you have, you have a lot of people that um, need you, family, um, your clients, and I, I see you also more and more recognizing that you have some needs in here as well. And um, now looking at how do I kind of put all of those pieces together in a way that's going to benefit clients, benefit myself, benefit my family. Summarizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that fits very well, Sandra. Mm -hmm.